All right, Stephen Halls, it's that time of the week again. Preview time, big Easter round of footy. First up, Force Chiefs over there in New Zealand. What you, what's your tip? My tip? Well, I'm going to tip the Chiefs. I don't think there's okay. too many to tip in the Force. They've got a tough run in the Force. They've got three away games in a row in New Zealand. Mm. That's not a very good draw for them. Like that, That is tough work. They've won eight from their last nine games in New Zealand. There's no John o Lance. He's had his pec operated on. There's even a rumour floating around he had a um, hair transplant. We're not sure if that's confirmed or not. Is it the same one you had? No, I haven't got mine. I'm booked in to get it. All oh, so, right, next week. Yeah. Uh, the Rebels play the Highlanders down at Amy Park. The Rebels are flying and not just back from Japan. How about that one for a pun? Yeah. They're doing well. Their best start to a Super Rugby season in their history. Yeah. How do you reckon they'll go against the defending well, champions? Well, I'm just happy for all the naysayers out there that said the first month of the draw they had was going to be... That was you, mate. You, you said the that. draw was terrible. A draw is only as bad as your performance. They won, they've won three in a row. They've been to Perth. Sorry, three out of four. They've been to Perth, South Africa, and Japan, Japan as well in Tokyo. So they've had a, a huge trip. And they come home. They've played some remarkable footy, and they're probably the, the Australian side that snuck under the radar, probably because they've been away, yeah. been overseas. But three from four, they're on the same amount of wins as the Brumbies, who everyone's still talking up. And Tom English is he a Wallabies bolter for the June series? He was in sensational form against the Sunwolves in Tokyo. Yeah, I think he's done very well, to be honest. He's, a few years ago, he had really good form and he got himself on an end-of-year tour and he's kind of been quiet for the last couple of years. So he's a player that's in his you know, mid-20s now. It's time that he started to put in performances like this and he was outstanding for the Rebels last weekend. And, and guys like this, what, what happens if they haven't played Test Rugby and they start to hit some, some really good form, it's such a big confidence booster for them. So, yeah, on the back of some Rebel success and McMahon and Geordie Reid and the likes and Chiba Hansen, he's going to be... Um, every chance to play for the World this year to keep that form up. Well, the Brumbies head to beautiful Bloemfontein after a week in Cape Town. I hear Cape have Town's you, a bit rubbish, but... Uh, have you been to Bloemfontein? Oh, mate, it's from all the reports, I've looked at the travels uh, and it looks lovely. It's one of the most spectacular places You've to go. You've sold it. Yeah. You've sold it. Well, I'm sure the Brumbies would have been enjoying it in a week that's been tough for them off the field back in Canberra. How much of that is a distraction for, for the Brumbies players? In all seriousness, something like this can work in one or two ways, and it all depends on how strong your, your playing group and your coaching staff are. This is probably the most mature Super Rugby side in, in the Australian Conference in terms of senior players and leadership they've got there. So I actually think this off-field uh, drama that's blown up this week can help them. A well, big Easter of footy for you, then you're camping in front of the TV, not going down to the beach and enjoying the last of summer? Oh, I'll probably try and do a little bit of both, both. to be honest. This day and age, you can be anywhere Get it with on a your tablet, phone. on yeah. your phone. So Perfect. You can be anywhere watching rugby. That's what's just so fantastic about technology. <laughs> well, happy Easter and happy footy. Take it easy, Stephen Halls.